I'm Anthony Smith with HFG Trust, and this is the Chart of the Week video. Hello and welcome to our weekly video. This week's chart comes to us from Dimensional Fund Advisors, and it shows some interesting stats about the three most commonly cited U.S. stock market indices, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500. Now, I suspect that many of you watching probably already intuitively know the extent to which the three main stock indices capture and represent the U.S. stock market, but this slide really serves up all the high points on a silver platter for us, and that's why I wanted to share it this week. It shows the relative sizes of the indices, as well as the top five companies in each index, and, and perhaps more importantly, the concentration these indices have in those top five names. So before discussing the specific indices, let's first define what the universe of U.S. stocks is that we're trying to measure. And there were 3,937 publicly traded companies at year in 2021. So let's call it 4,000 companies. All right, let's look at the Dow Jones first. I would call this the index with the best publicist, and here's why. It only includes 30 companies that only account for 24% of the U.S. stock market by market cap. The top five names make up 35% of the index, which strikes me as uh, high concentration at the top. But here is the clincher. It's a price-weighted index. Look at the top-ranked company in the index. It's United Health. United Health is the 12th largest stock by market cap in the U.S. However, it carries the most weight in the Dow because its stock price is the highest. If it's not readily apparent why price weighting an index makes no sense, then consider this. If United Health were to initiate a stock split such that its stock price were to be cut in half from $450 a share to $225 a share, its relative weighting in the index would be roughly cut in half. That doesn't make sense. How about the NASDAQ? It's at least a market cap weighted index and includes uh, close to uh, 3,500 companies, but it only captures about half the U.S. stock market, and it's very concentrated in technology names with a little more than half of the index by market cap in tech names. And it also has a similar, if not actually a higher concentration of 39% of the index in its top five names. Let's look at the S&P 500. Of the three, this is the one that you should be following most closely if you want to track the U.S. stock market. This is the U.S. large cap stock market index. Now, it has fewer companies than the NASDAQ, but its member companies make up 84% of the U.S. stock market, and it is better diversified, meaning there is less concentration at the top, as the top five names account for 23% of the index. If you take away uh, one thing from this video today, let it be this. When you hear uh, a news anchor tell you that the Dow Jones did X or Y today, whatever the Dow Jones did today, maybe ignore it. And not just because uh, the result is usually reported in points, not percentages. Ignore it because it only captures 24% of the U.S. market and it is price weighted, not market cap weighted like any good index should be. If you want to know how stocks did today, look at the percentage change in the S&P 500 instead. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.